Welcome to the podcast. Today, we're diving into an exciting topic that blends technology, community, and personal empowerment, Casa OS, and the concept of your very own personal cloud. So let's start with a question. Have you ever thought about how much of your person or personal data is floating around in the cloud, controlled by big corporations? In a world where computing power and storage are decreasing rapidly, and where we're increasingly pushed towards edge computing, the idea of owning our own data seems more relevant than ever. In 2020, the folks behind Casa OS observed some pretty significant trends. They recognized that not only were costs falling, but also that the ownership of consumer data was largely overlooked. And that's when they decided to consider a future possibility. What if personal clouds could be available for under $100? Imagine having your own data center, managing files and apps just for you, without having to rely on large tech companies. It's a thought experiment that has huge implications for creators and small organizations alike. Now, why is this important? Well, a personal cloud can do more than just store your data. It can help facilitate a collaborative network, Think about all the personal servers around the world coming together. You could connect your smart devices for a seamless experience, bringing local intelligence into your everyday life. Plus, it opens up the potential for training personalized AI assistants based on your own data. How cool is that? All right, let's break down what makes Casa OS special. First off, they really focused on usability. With a friendly interface designed for home scenarios, you can operate it without needing a coding background. No tricky forms, just pure functionality. And it's not picky about hardware. It works with Zima board, Intel NUC, Raspberry Pi, and even older computers. One of the highlights is their App Store, where selected applications like NextCloud, Home Assistant, and Jellyfin are available for one-click installation. You're not just limited to a few options. There are over 100,000 Docker apps that you can easily install, providing endless possibilities for customization. Speaking of setup, it's designed with accessibility in mind. Whether you're a tech novice or a seasoned geek, Casa OS ensures that you can get started with just a few commands. Plus, it supports multiple systems, including Debian and Ubuntu, which is pretty impressive. Now let's talk about the community aspect. The word Casa translates to home in Spanish, and their journey began with 